Now we're going to talk about the community. How can the community take responsibility? And as we know, we're in lockdown three, moving uh, uh, slowly, but gradually, but, but very much towards lockdown one, hopefully. Now, the, the president, um, Cyril Ramaphosa, has said that it is in our hands, and it is in our hands. Uh, the health services have tried very hard to do what they can. So by the community getting involved, what we will do is to reduce the transmission as much as possible. And even though 80% of the infections are mild, the small group, which is about 5%, that might need very severe, that, de that develop severe disease and might need ventilation and, and very heavy support from the, from the health facilities causes a huge burden. So the way the society can help is to stop, and they are going to be very instrumental in stopping the transmission. I strongly recommend that the community leaders and the, the, the traditional leaders take charge of their role here. And as leaders of the community, they should make sure that everybody around them pays attention and, and, and understands what's going on. And the rules are still the same. They're simple, doesn't matter where you are within the COVID-19 pandemic. You need to make sure that hand hygiene is well carried out. Alcohol-based hand rub is good. I know there's a big problem with water supplies in some of the more crowded communities. However, alcohol-based hand rub is also a good substitute, even though you can't use it, for example, after you come out of the toilet because your hands might be soiled. The second thing is to wear a cloth mask. Uh, we've discussed this in the past, but I just want to re to, to just re-emphasize that if you wear a cloth mask, you will protect others. And if they wear a cloth mask, it will protect you. And this is known as universal masking. And this is part of a larger global program where people are protecting each other and therefore transmission is reduced. Now on social distancing, while it is totally understandable that mo some houses are not in a position to socially distance for one to two meters, where possible, if you want to spend some time, the more time you spend outside, the better it is. So you can sit outside, um, you can meet um, your family outside, and it is fresh air and it's better for you. And of course, the virus is quite sensitive to sunlight, so it's even better for you. From that point of view, it's good from the point of view of vitamin D. And if you can eat fruit and vegetables as well, that is good. Um, and finally, the environment inside the house should be quite clean. It doesn't need a lot of expensive uh, disinfectant. Just wipe down the surfaces with water and detergent, dry it. And if you have, just take some bleach or, or alcohol on a cloth and wipe over the surfaces. If this is done twice a day, uh, that cl keeps the surfaces clean. Now the other area which is uh, very uh, difficult to cope with is the toilet facilities, sanitation and water facilities. Um, while it is not really a major area that one can attend just immediately, the government is trying very hard to attend as much of it this as possible. So when you come out of the toilet, please make sure you wash your hands with soap and water and dry your hands thoroughly. If you don't have adequate amount of water, um, then when you fill up your water tanks, please try and keep one water tank, uh, if possible, for, for washing your hands and washing the children's hands and everybody else around. This is not the easiest thing to do, I know, but in the community, the, the, the most effective way would be to wear your masks whenever you're in a public arena. Don't believe that anybody around you is not infected. Pretend, pretend that everybody around you has got the virus and therefore you will protect yourself and them. Please make sure that the traditional healers and leaders are involved and that you do a plan together to protect the community and carry out hand hygiene as much as possible. Um, in social areas such as shabins or places where people gather like churches and so on, social distancing is very difficult so please make sure that you have your cloth mask with you and that you um, use it right the way through from the time you step out of the house till the time you come back again. So I hope that is quite clear. Um, when you go into the shops also make sure that you have social distancing and of course once you have touched something, please make sure that you come back when you come home uh, after you've done your shopping that you wash your hands thoroughly. I hope this helps.